Hello everybody, my name is Mind, welcome back to the Backward Spinning intro team. Anyway, we've got a pretty good video for you today. I'm going to be showing you how to build the, basically just the 2018, 2019, 2020, and 2021 F1 cars, because they all generally follow the same design. These are at 1.5 to 1 scale, and before we get started, there's a few important things to know. I will be giving you uh, ideas of how you could build it in vanilla, but we do use our Aero Team 2.0 resource pack, which you can now download at our website, aeroteam.org. Anyway, there's other stuff on that website too, like info about the server, which I'm on right now, which you can join yourself, aeroteam.craft.gg, or uh, you could download some of our builds, but, I mean, you're following a tutorial right now, so you might as well build that. Anyway, so, like I said, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, build it in vanilla uh, for a, cert a few certain things, and then some things you're just going to have to kind of deal with. Um, and then uh, I am going to be using World Edit. Uh, so if you don't have World Edit, there's only... There, it's really only the Halo that you won't be able to do, uh, and that's about it. Uh, anyway, I've got all the F1 20 or all the basically liveries lined up here aside from the uh, Alpha Tauri or however you pronounce the new one uh, because uh, um, The Toro Rosso has just been driven more so it, it's an easier livery to to make um, Anyways, uh, they're in no particular order, but we've got the Red Bull the Mercedes Ferrari Renault McLaren Williams the Pink Pandas or racing point really, Alpha uh, Alpha Romeo, Haas, and of course Toro Rosso. I've got all the cars lined up back here. I'm going to show you how to make all the liveries, but first I'm going to be showing you how to build the F1 car itself. So before we get started with that, the build is five blocks wide if you include the buttons on either side of the wheels, three blocks if you don't. It's eight blocks long if you don't if you exclude the button right here uh, but that button makes it nine blocks long and then three or t three blocks tall and if you exclude this it's just two anyway that's super simple so let's get started so we're going to just start off with the front wing here and we're going to grab two uh purple stairs but if you're in vanilla you use a quartz stair pretty simple right and we're just going to place two uh, either side of each other with a block gap in the middle and we're going to place a s slab right there We're going to be using the purple slab now um, If you're in vanilla use quartz again pretty pretty simple and anyway, we can come on back here and it's going to be t A full block of wool so you can just grab wool, but I'm just using slabs uh, and of course if you're in vanilla use quartz uh, And we're going to do two blocks like so now if you're in vanilla uh, and you don't have world edit, what you're going to do is you're going to place a block of uh, a block of co black concrete right here and here. If you're in um, our resource pack and have world edit, what we're going to be using for the wheels is we're going to use dead fire coral fans. So we're going to place some on these temporary blocks right here. And we're, now we're going to need to use slash repel zero. And then we're going to go on either side and place these here and make sure you're in slash last fast i'm already in it so i disabled it there so uh so i'm just going to put it in one more time and we're just going to copy it right here and you can get rid of that like so super simple and it gives it just the perfect spacing between the front wing and the actual um wheels itself and then the um barge boards and everything back here anyway we can do the uh basically the well, the main uh, monocoque of the F1 car. And so we're going to start in the floor here and take a block out and place the black concrete, or you could use black wool, one of the two, up to you. I mean, they look they look basically the same in our pack because they're just both so dark. And anyway, we're just going to do that like so. And then we're going to need to get a stair. We're going to need to get the nether brick stairs. If you're in vanilla, use the same exact thing. And we're just going to place one facing inwards like so now from that we're going to place an upside down stair to represent uh all the aero devices and the uh massive air intakes um and then we're going to do that on either side pretty simple now coming along we're going to place an inward stair right here and then another inward stair right here and then we're going to fill this up with a block right here then a 
angled stair, uh, and another angled stair, and another full block. Now back here we're going to get a hopper, and I used a hopper in this design to sort of mimic uh, the way that the engine and uh, the suspension would go in, but of course it's it's small, it's Minecraft, uh, so yeah, it won't really fit in perfectly, but we're going to use a hopper right here anyway, and then we're going to place black concrete on either side, and then a stair following that, and behind that we're going to need to place a temporary block, and then we place the ho another hopper right there. We're going to need to go in and grab some buttons now. We're going to grab a acacia button and a normal stone button in our resource pack. Uh, and uh, maybe even a spruce button if you want to go for sort of the, um, what's it called? The um, red flashing light that's at the back of the F1 cars. Uh, but we just use a normal black acacia button. Uh, that's in our resource pack and the and like so anyway for the wheels We'll place two buttons on either side pretty simple. We're almost done with the F1 car uh, Because we've done layer one here and layer two is is even simpler So I'm going to go into my inventory again or and get some more uh, Slabs of course if you're in vanilla quartz slabs And we're just going to go one two three like so and then one right here now We're going to have a full block right here and then we're going to need another stair, so I'm just going to grab it from right here, and that's it like so. Now if you're in vanilla, I suggest you use black carpet, but if you're in our resource pack, you're going to be using a uh, acacia trap door, like so. Uh, and this is where uh, some of the telemetry is placed, I believe, and uh, the cameras uh, for the F1 cars. And now we've got the really simple halo design. If you don't like the halo, well, I mean, that's your opinion. I, I think it actually looks good, uh, especially now. So we're going to go in and grab a lever uh, and some buttons, uh, and like so. Now, if you're not using the halo design, uh, what you're going to do is just place a lever like so. And that's to represent the uh, air, the rake that's sort of midway in between the wheels. Uh, but if you are using the halo, what I'm going to do is flip that lever back. Now we're going to need world edit here. So you're going to place a lever here and you're going to copy it. And now you're going to place two temporary blocks right here and here on either side. And you're going to place the levers there. And you're going to have to uh, click it twice because something with uh, the world edit that we're using at least, uh, it faces the wrong way when you copy it over for the first time. And now one last thing we're going to do is I'm going to place three temporary blocks through here and then a temporary block right here. So we're on this temporary block, imagine the, well, the car is facing this way and the block facing that way. We're going to place it buttons on all sides except for the front like so. And then this backwards facing button we're going to place in the middle. And then I guess you can assume where we're going to place the others too. So the one facing to the right is going to be on the right. And the one facing to the left is going to be on the left. Congratulations, you've just made an F1 car in Minecraft. Pretty cool. Only took us about, I'm going to say six minutes or so. And anyway, we're going to do all the liveries to come. So we're going to start off with the uh, Toro Rosso. And so we're going to need some, uh, some a mossy cobblestone stairs and some uh, polished granite stairs and some uh, more mossy cobblestone blocks. We'll grab the slabs uh, and then some stone brick, stone brick stairs and slabs like so. Super simple. I'm going to be using the replacer tool to build this. So uh, if you're building it in vanilla or by hand, uh, you're going um, I'm not going to show you how to do the liveries because liveries would actually be very different in vanilla. Uh, but if you don't have world edit, uh, you can just break the blocks and d do it uh, as so. Anyway, so we're going to start off right here on the side. We're going to place two stairs in this shape like so. And it's just going to be bam, bam. And then we're going to need an upside down mossy cobblestone stair. And we're going to place it like so. And this is so we don't update any of the blocks. And then right here, we're going to just get rid of this and place an upside, or sorry, an upside down stone brick stair. And below it, we're going to need a slab of polished andesite and place that 
like so. There. And we're going to mirror this on the other side of the car. Super simple. I'm going to try to get through all these liveries as fast as possible because I know that uh, there's just a load of them and you guys want to build them as quickly as possible. So anyway, we're going to copy over this slab right here and then replace this with a full block of stone brick. And right here, it's going to be a blue, sl blue slab, blue slab, blue slab, stone brick slab, blue s or stone brick stairs. And then coming back up, we're going to need a block of mossy cobblestone. I'm going to place those two right there. And then we can replace this here, not worrying about updating anything. And there you go, you've got the Torasso all done. That only took us a minute. Let's get to the next one. So I believe the next one is the Haas. Uh, what we're going to need is some uh, nether brick stairs. We're going to need a nether brick slab. Uh, well, we don't. We already have the purple slab, so we're just going to grab some oak slabs. And that's basically it for the livery. I'm going to start in the middle with the stripe. So the stripe runs along... Uh, the front so we slab there and then we're going to need a full block and the full block goes right here and then back here we're also going to place a full block of uh, oak slabs and one right here now uh, we're going to for the front wing and plates uh, just like so with the nether brick stairs and then an upside down oh that doesn't update it so we can just break that and there like so this is left white in the livery uh, and then right here is black like so and then we can copy that here as well and there that's basically it other than right here we need a upside down another brick slat or stair same as here around here and then two another brick slabs like so and we've got the Haas livery next up is the alpha Romeo. So it's mostly white. We're going to need some polished granite, some polished granite stairs, uh, and we're also going to need to use our spruce buttons. So what we're going to do to replace the color of the halo is we're going to place a block, and like I showed you earlier with the front, we're going to just place, or with the first uh, F1 card, we're going to just place them around and simply copy them over like so. This is probably the simplest livery to make because it's just a few replaced blocks. So the replacing of blocks starts right here. We're going to place a red block, a uh, red pol polished granite, uh, and then a upside down stair. And then coming along, it's a full block right here, and then a slab right here. More slabs right here and here, and then a upside down stair, an upside down stair. And I believe there is a slab in here right in here if i can place it correctly there we go and that's it for the alpha romeo next up we have the pink mercedes one is a bit harder in our resource pack we don't have any pink slabs and stairs so i had to go with granite slabs and stairs i know it's not the best looking thing but we did get in the actual pink right here with pink concrete and then it does have a lighter pink right here with the brick stairs and then it does have the new sport pace up blue uh, livery um, so yeah oh and then we need to use the mossy cobblestone stairs so we'll start at the front of the nose pretty simple we're just going to replace these with the uh, granite stairs right here if I can place it correctly then we're going to need to grab our wand again we're going to select it and then two pink concrete blocks there and there on the sides we've got some uh, brick stairs because it's a different color right there and that's to signify it more brick stairs and then in the middle it's pink right here on the sides we're back to the granite stairs so we're gonna throw those in real quick very very nice and we'll do that on either side of the car super super nice now it's just basically blue here on out aside from at the very back where we're going to place more andesite stairs but the blue starts right here we're going to go blue some a blue block here a blue block here and then it's blue for the weird rear wing next we've got the rocket williams this is the slowest car on the grid i mean to be fair they've got a decent livery so uh, just leave it at that what we're going to need is in our livery 
uh, some jungle slabs and stairs for the light blue and then for the black highlights we're going to need nether brick slabs or stairs sorry and then there is a red button oh got rid of my yep and then there is uh, some red so we used a button here to represent that and then we need some nether brick slabs um pretty simple gonna come along here and do that now so we're gonna go slab right here slab or stay right here and there and then it's white coming up and then we can replace these two blocks and then behind it it's the blue again so we're going to place the blue in really quickly and we can do that on either side of the f1 car now coming on back uh what well, i believe it's the red button right here the red button right there and then it basically becomes uh, black for the rear wing, like so. Let me check really quickly. Oh, there is one more blue bit right here. And that's it for the livery of the Rocket Williams. Oh, one I did forget. See, I knew I would forget. Uh, but we're going to need to use some buttons. And we're going to need to come right here and place them red. And while I'm on that, we also need to do the Hass as well, which uses the Acacia buttons. And we'll do that really quickly right now. Apologies for skipping that earlier. So it's just gonna go simply slot in like slow, so. Anyway, let's get back to the Rocket Williams. I just love saying the word Rocket Williams. Sounds cool. And anyway, we're gonna slot them in like I showed you earlier. Pretty simple. Going really fast now because I'm sure you all know how to build the cars now. And uh, we've only got uh, five more liveries left, which are the McLaren, possibly maybe my favorite livery of all of them. I don't know. It, it's just a cool looking one. So we're gonna be using some mossy cobblestone slabs, some nether brick stairs, some uh, smooth redstone, red sandstone stairs a smooth red sandstone slab if I can get that out and then some mossy cobblestone stairs and then we're going to be replacing the halo with a with black so let's start at the nose pretty simple we're going to go one and two and we're going to place this here like so actually no it's a smooth red sandstone and then behind it we're going to need full blocks so we'll copy that and then we'll use this as the temporary block as well so we're going to paste these in right here so and so and then coming on back i'll do this now because we've already got it selected there's a full one there and a full one here and then we're going to place an upside down stair and that's it for the orange and while we have this here we'll also do the halo as well just like the way i showed you all earlier and the colors for the halo just really completes the look and feel of the car Anyway, we can come on back. We're going to need our nether brick stairs, and we're going to place two of them here and here. And then it's going to be nether brick stairs here and here again. Uh, so we'll just copy those in super quickly. I'm looking super snazzy. And then the new McLaren does have some very nice blue accents along the back. So we're going to get rid of all of this and replace it with the blue mossy cobblestone slabs and then the upside down mossy cobblestone stairs and now we have the Renault uh, which I accidentally forgot to copy over the last button for the halo anyway what we're gonna need is some yellow wool some we have already got it select another bricks yellow or another brick stairs a birch slab uh, and then the um, nether brick slabs because it's basically an all black livery aside from the yellow in the middle so we'll do that first actually we'll place that there and then we need a temporary block and we'll do the buttons around it like we've been doing select this one we're going to come around and do it like so uh, give me one moment and we can paste that all through uh no i've selected the wrong one didn't mean to do that we'll do undo really quickly it goes right here sorry and then at the very back we're going to have a slab right there so 
uh, that's basically it for the yellow. And now you just base, uh, convert it to all black. So we're just going to do it like so. Replace these. And we're going to use world edit again but as to not update the lever. And we do that here and here. Super simple. Looks super good. Oh, there we go. And then this all becomes black. Oops. And then a black stare. Uh, so that's it, other than we need to do the halo conversion real quick. So we'll do the halo very quickly. Now we have everyone's favorite, the red Ferrari. We're going to need more red, more red, and some more red. And then we're going to need some uh, another brick to accent it as well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start uh, right here at the nose again. And then the Ferrari does actually have the black halo. So we'll, we'll grab a temporary block and place it around like so. Now we're going to use the red, so it's just easy, we copy it over, and then we also need to replace that as red. This block becomes a black nether brick stair on either side. And then it's, guess what, more red, more red, and we're going to copy over even more red right here and here, get rid of those, and more red. And then the new livery uh, for 2019 did have the really cool like little swoosh thing right here so we incorporated that and it's some more red right here now we get to the black tail and that's super super simple and then red stairs upside down we have probably i will be possibly greatest f1 car in recent memory uh which is the mercedes jungle stairs of course to get the blue we're going to be using smooth stone uh slabs and our uh, smooth stone sandstone stair uh, because smooth stone does not have its own stair and then there is a black accent however we will not have to replace um, any of the uh, halo so that's really good so we can move on really quickly we got a slab in the front and then the smooth sandstone stairs like so gonna grab this place them run two and then it's an upside down another brick stair a lot of f1 teams seem to be using uh black to rep for the um aero devices around the uh i believe uh barge boards are they if i'm not forgetting my f1 terms it's been so long since we've seen an f1 race although it was on espn 2 earlier today but a lot of F1 cars are using it, if you notice along here, about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I don't know, I miscounted. Anyway, uh, we're going to do with more smooth stone here. And then smooth stone there. Which of, is, of course, only in our resource pack. And right here, it's a black accent right here. And black here. Black here. It's The tail is all black. And then there's just a hint of blue, and then one more black slab right there. Now we have possibly the oldest livery here. This livery is almost a year and a half old, because the 7-1 car that I designed was actually quite a while ago. Uh, but it is honestly one of my favorites. So in our resource pack, we have uh, dark prismarine slabs, which are texture as yellow concrete. We're going to need the prismarine stairs a prismarine slab, um, some polished granite stairs, a bit of white wool, uh, and that should be it for the livery. So we can come around here at the nose, replace the stairs like so. Going to do yellow, and then it's another yellow. Oh, well, in our resource pack, it's actually yellow concrete. We uh, have it specially, so it... Um, we still have the dark prismarine texture as a block because we have the yellow concrete already so that's pretty cool anyway we're going to place it right there and then we're going to need a full block like so and that goes here now the uh car actually has a matte finish but 
uh, it's Minecraft and we didn't actually have the blocks to give it the sort of super dark blue that it is now. So we just used what we had. But anyway, we're going to make this shape with the red and blue. It's the first one that actually has two different colors for the uh, for the sides of the car. And anyway, we're going to do it like so. And before I forget, we're going to need to go back and fix the Ferrari because I forgot to do the halo. I keep forgetting. Anyway, that's right here. We're going to do yellow and we're actually going to need a dark prismarine stair, which we can place right here, just like so. Then we're going to need a uh, slab, uh, two slabs of polished granite here and here, and then upside down polished granite stairs, like so, and then it's prismarine slabs to finish it all off. So it's a pretty nice looking livery. We can come over and copy over. I'll just use the Renault because I know you guys know what you're doing now at this point with the halos. And that's about it. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy building all 10 F1 2019 liveries. Uh, although some of them are the same for 2020 and uh, 2018 so you know and you can paint them whatever you want because the car is basically the 2018 through 2021 car anyway if you did use our uh, build please make sure to credit us we do put a lot of time and effort in just painting these liveries took me an hour to do I mean it's insane they are a bit hard uh, just to start off so um just give us credit for the amount of time we put in link our channel do what you want um and also, uh, if you want the resource pack, it's on our website, aeroteam.org, uh, and more videos will hopefully be coming soon. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Take care. Bye-bye.